A good life, they say, is a collection of happy moments. And happy moments, other times I get to bring you events for your entertaining pleasure. I am Lola, your able commissioner for all events and its events diary. <laughs> I'm ready to flip my diary so you can enjoy these clips I reel out one after the other. Every May 27th is the day dedicated to celebrate children and your event corona was at a couple of events to mark the children's day. First is that of Caleb Group of Schools. To say the kids had fun is definitely an understatement. Do I enjoy? <laughs> Children are the world's most valuable resources and its best hope for the future. In celebrating this year's Children's Day, Caleb Group of Schools put up a masterpiece where attendees were feted. In marking the event tagged 2016 Fawn Day, attendees were drawn from other institutions, even parents were not left out. In setting the tune for the mouth watching event, there was a colorful match pass. As you can see them, starting the parade, yes, Caleb International School. Starting off the parade, school, yeah, that's the best. Yes, that's the best parade school. As you can see them, on their own style, the way they know how to do best. That's the way they're doing it. Good work for the reality of Christ in school. Here comes some breathtaking moments of spectacular talent exhibition.
In appreciation of another laudable Children's Day celebration, parents and students could not hide their satisfaction. It's been fun, fun, fun. The children are enjoying themselves. They've been climbing from one bus classroom to another. We've had children from other schools entertain us. It's been, it's, I think it's better than last year. And uh, uh, I want to say, Caleb hits this one this time. Making a tent for the children, even in this season, that we say, ah, fun day, rain, and all that. But it made us realize that there's a second option and they can be fun during rainy season. It's actually very fun. I've gone on a lot of rides. Like, it's not, exactly, it's not the way I expected it to be. It's better. There are a lot of games and it's fun. My experience last year was a little dim, it was like, it was a little rough and messed up, but this one is cleaner, it's more organized and it's fun. It's cool, it's okay, I enjoyed myself, I did very well, I sang and it was very good. I would like to say thank you and God bless you, may God uphold Caleb in Jesus name. It has been amazing, you can see I was just playing water going and we were just, we were just having fun today. Just. We decided to celebrate our children. They've worked so hard from the beginning of the session. So we felt to we'll invite their parents. And we, as their parents in school, will ensure they are well taken care of much more than ever before, enjoy themselves on the field, ride several mechanical instruments that will give them a, a bit of relaxation and then make them happy. So with food around and everything that will make them happy and look back to say of a truth we, we have very good parents in school and at home. That's what we decided to do here. After a very serious hard work, they deserve to relax and rest. The purpose of the program has been actualized. This is a, a Christian school. We are raising godly children who will be mentors to their mates and best among their contemporaries. So we have seen them showcasing the virtues that they have imbibed in our school. And then their parents are around too, and their guidance to bond with us as parents at home and parents in school, and see our children enjoying themselves, learning more, exercising their muscles, and their, uh, and showcasing what they have learned in a more relaxed environment. Welcome back. The smiles and excitement on the faces of these school children shows that they had fun and eagerly looking forward to that of 2017. Now next is Hangout with Auntie Tosi. A kiddies program on our sister radio station also gathered a few kids and the whole outing it put together can be called a box of goodies. Here are the clips. <music> To commemorate the 2016 Children's Day, Box of Goodies, a kiddies show on Radio Continental 102.3 FM, selected a few kids to hang out with the presenter of the show, Auntie Tosi, at an amusement park. The children had so much fun with different games, rides and toys with lots of goodies to take home. I don't change my name to God you I no more, I don't buy more to God you I say my market no go sell you God you And then we say I no go blue God you in the 
yeah, my brother. Make them try their luck, my God, go we No, my God, go we No, my Lord, go we No. Exam now, God do it. Yeah. And then me say, You know, go pass for God do it. Yeah. You wake up, see to the last song, now God do it. Uh-huh. Robbers, they rob, they no see you, brother. They no see you, my sister. Oh, you're yeah, better, God do it. No, now God do it. No, now God do it. And it's in the end, no, now God do it. No, now God do it. No, now God do it. No, as now you're ready. God do it, and he don't tell where you be fine for God do it. Yeah. Till we go pop champagne today, God do it. And uh-huh. oh, we go there, dance, 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 cause God do it. No, lelelele, anything you win, I God do it. And if you win the election, my brother, God do it. Like if you win the contract, my friend, God do it. a time to formally arise with fellow co-listeners of the show while their parents expressed their excitement to us. I feel very excited and the children, we are all happy and they have fun. I want to tell Radio Continental that, that they are doing a great job and they are well done and God will bless them. They should continue to raise future generations. Let the good Lord continue to progress them because you, there's nothing to use to measure what they are doing to our kids. I think I really appreciate it and it's, uh, at least it's fun going out. <laughs> Today that is a public holiday for the children, as a children's day. I really love anti-toasting. Every Saturday they have to wake up before 8 o'clock for a box of goodies. Any other thing is on hold till 8.30. Anti-toasting, however, explained the selection process and couldn't hide our joy on the turn out of the day. I'm so excited. It's been fun since morning. Even the kids didn't want to leave the leisure park. We had lots of games, lots of food. Box of Goodies is a children's game show. So I picked five winners two weeks ago and another five last week. So those that couldn't get through two weeks ago had a second chance last week, Saturday. So that was how I came about 10 lucky winners. Next year, it promises, well, by God's grace, to be bigger and better. It will be lots of fun and, of course, I'll have more than, two, more than 10 kids hanging out with me. So don't worry, just keep listening to Box of Goodies. Always, always read a book, like I say on the show. You never know what the questions will be. You never know when you need the information you need. Knowledge, as they say, is power. My name is Sosin Ajayi. Listen to Box of Goodies every Saturday from 8 in the morning on Radio Continental 102.3 FM. Catch ya! Listen to Box of Goodies on Radio Continental! Yay! And they enjoy themselves after all. Remember, we can be reached anytime and every day. Just follow the details on the screen. Glad you're still tuned to the showbiz program, Events Diary. Celebrations are always our heartbeat. We were at Sunday Diary's birthday, and though it was a quiet and private birthday party, the big wigs of Nigerian politics were present. Come with me to the 50th birthday party of this humble and gentle man. <laughs> It was a gathering of the high and mighty as one of Ashiwa Jubola Tinubu's aides, Sunday Dari, rolled out the drums in celebration of his 50th birthday. The first leg was the Thanksgiving service at Ikoyi Baptist Church, 
where the celebrator was full of thanks to his creator for attaining the golden age. I bless God for today. It is overwhelming for me. I'd rather just take it in and process it and enjoy it. I've given so much. I've received so much back today. And I say thank you, God. Thank you, Ashwajibala Metunubu. Thank you to my mother, my brother, my sisters who are here, my in-laws, and my friends. Thank you very much. God bless you. His friends and associates couldn't wait for a more relaxed atmosphere before they started eulogizing him. I remember when we were trying to cover the Obama, Obama first uh, uh, election. And uh, Sunday Dari was with me throughout. You know, he was taking me with, in his car. And in fact, we wanted to get to a good hotel where we would see the announcement of the Obama victory. And so we're moving from one newsroom to the other, from VOA to his house, from his house to VOA, from VOA. I mean, we're moving all over. His wife can even bear witness. And uh, that is one, one thing and, and I, I found out very, 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 uh, very deep. Sandy has been a very nice to me. We are, we've been together for so many years. And apart from his greatest economic expertise, he has the natural talent for converting that comparative nothing into something. And up to today, and for so many years to come, we are still going to be together. When he showed up, my husband's load, workload started getting lighter. He was catching up with the sleep. So I'm not going to talk about how he works. He does my speeches too, without complaining. He attends to my husband 100%. He would attend to my need my children's need. All the children in the house will attend to our needs. So it's not just somebody working for him. It's a help we pray. I prayed in, into that family, and I want to thank you so much. He's our brother, and presently, by the grace of God, he's our father. We grew up together. The road was not so smooth when we were growing together. But one thing about him is that when you have a good plan, just present it to my brother. You get a nudge. He will encourage you. He will put in the whole of himself in that plan to make sure that you succeed. I remember when we were going and there was no much money with our parents. He will call us, the younger ones, he will say, you have to read, though. You will read. All of you must further your education. You must not stop like this. He takes good care of every one of us. But now we are proud to be associated with you. Dari is one who shares great passion for his family. The way he takes care of his immediate family and the extended family is marvelous. He spares nothing to ensure that the family is happy. Our mother at Obumosho is there, looking young as ever. Mama, God will bless you. Thank you for the training you gave my son, both religious-wise and also the upbringing. Sunday has going to be my personal friend, a, someone I can call a confidant and a friend, because we also share a few things with Obomosho, and he knows I'm very, very passionate you know, about um, Obomosho and Mala as well. Um, he's someone that I've grown to also watch and see how he delivers on deadlines work under extreme pressure, extreme pressure. And I want to say that um, God that has strengthened you will continue to uphold you. Um, he will continue to be with you. Um, that in which you think you've lost, he will replace it back to you in hundred and hundred folds. And God will enable you. He will give you a long life and will become, friend, will become friends for a very, very long time. Sunday, my son, my friend, my co-conspirator, my confidant. When you're looking for a man who can persevere, who can live his life for others, look for Sunday Dari.
When you're looking for loyalty, commitment to duty, confidentiality, look for Sunday diary. If you are looking for a man who will do the job without seeking a reward, if you are looking for accountability, no, how much, no matter how much you live with him, he will account for every single of it, even when he's hungry, to touch your money to feed himself, you will seek permission. You will find it in Sunday night. When you look for a man who is compassionate and committed to others, his friend, there's one man who will never forget his old friend. No matter how much praise they're given to you today, as my chief of staff, as a leader of a great team, my wife has said it all. You are living our life. You reduce my load. And you've taken pressure off of me at your own risk. The man of the moment moved the fun and entertainment to the reception venue as he had something else planned to make his day more significant. Sunday Diary, the chief of staff and media advisor to Ashiwaju Tinubu unveiled a book titled Datelines, a collection of his journalistic articles. Family members described Sunday in loving ways, while his close allies say he is one of those who championed the cause for democracy in Nigeria. I have known the Sunday Diary for the past six years. Um, up to, if I look back, I could remember that I spoke to him, to him a, couple of, a couple of times when he was abroad. And um, he is a professional to the core. Sunday there is a very dependable young man, extremely ebullient, loyal, and very competent fellow. Dare is a pro-democracy activist. He was one of the people that fought for the June 12th uh, revalidation. With Ashua Jo, and Ashua was in exile, he worked very well with him and so on. I wish him many happy returns of today. I wish him long life and good health. And I want to say to him that he should continue to be level-headed. Sky will, will, be, will not be his limit. I just want to tell my husband, Akilabi Sunday Diary, that I love him, that I pray for him today that he will move from strength to strength. He's such an amazing man. God had me in mind when he gave, me, gave uh, my husband to me. I am blessed to be his wife. I am honored to be Mrs. Sunday Diary. And I pray that he will see more years in good health and that we'll grow up together as a um, blessed couple. We are, we'll see our children's children together. I wish him all the best for today. Uh, I wish him happy birthday. We will come here in 10 years time, celebrate his 60th, 70th, 80 and all that stuff. I commend him for sticking out his neck when necessary, uh, for standing on the side of uh, progressive journalism and progressive politics. The merrymaking continued with good music to enrich the big day.
I like being around dignitaries because they are the event makers. Many happy returns to Mr. Sunday Diary. And so you, you and you, yes, and you too. What are you waiting for? Get your phones and call us now for that your event. All the stats well must end well. It's time to say goodbye. But remember, the more you celebrate your life, the more there is in life to celebrate. I remain Lola, your able commissioner for Owambe and all events happening everywhere. I shall be here next week, same time and same station. And I love you. Bye for now. <laughs>